Hello Avalanche community, my name is Chris Wilson. In this video, we'll be going over how to stake Avalanche. If you're not sure what staking is, make sure to check out our What is Staking video linked in the description. But first, let's go over what Avalanche is. Avalanche is a layer one protocol by Ava Labs that offers high throughput, fast finality, and unprecedented decentralization. Developers on Avalanche are able to launch their own public or private blockchains called subnets, create and trade digital assets, build scalable smart contracts and decentralized applications or dApps for short. Avalanche also allows Solidity compatible dApps, allowing developers to easily launch Ethereum dApps that confirm transactions instantly and process thousands of transactions per second. Now that we have a basic understanding of Avalanche, let's look at staking AVEX tokens on the Avalanche network. Here's some key staking information that is important to know before staking AVEX. Rewards are distributed automatically every block. There are no slashing penalties. Inflation is deflationary based on staking participation. No unbonding period. Tokens are locked during the staking period. And a new delegation is required for compounding rewards. Additionally, it is important to note that Avalanche is made up of three chains. Each chain has its own purpose within the Avalanche protocol. X chain or the exchange chain is an instance of the Avalanche virtual machine, AVM. The X chain API allows clients to create and trade assets on the X chain and other instances of the AVM. P chain or platform chain allows clients to create subnets, add validators to subnets, and create blockchains. C-Chain, or contract chain, allows for the creation of smart contracts using the C-Chain's API. The C-Chain is an instance of the Ethereum virtual machine powered by Avalanche. Each of these chains has a unique address and sending X-Chain assets to C-Chain can result in permanent loss of funds. Make sure to double and triple check which chain you are interacting with and to what chain you are trying to send it. The official Avalanche wallet features cross-chain swaps, which we'll be using to get our assets ready to stake. To begin staking AVEX on the Avalanche protocol, let's first head over to wallet.avix.network. So once you land on the official wallet site at wallet.avix.network, you will be greeted with two options. We can either access our wallet that we've already created if you already have an Avix network wallet, or you can create a new wallet. I'll be covering both for you. But first, let's go over how to create a new wallet. We can start by clicking create new wallet, and this will generate a new key phrase to set up your Avalanche wallet. So let's go ahead and generate our key phrase. Here is our key phrase. So we'll go ahead and copy that. What I like to do is go ahead and pull up a notepad and let's paste that notepad in there. And then we're gonna go file, save as, and then we will go AVIX. We can go ahead and put this on our desktop. And now we have that saved and go ahead and pull it off of your computer. You can put it in a cloud storage, though I don't recommend that. That's centralized and they are hack prone. Good way to, to store this would be to use a, a password protected thumb drive and to have like a couple different backups. That way, if one location where you keep your backup burns down or is compromised or you lose that location, you have other locations to keep it. This is a non-custodial wallet, meaning no one can help you recover your funds if you lose your key phrase. This is very important. If you don't know the difference between custodial and non-custodial wallets, make sure to check out our What is Custody video linked in the description. In that video, I go over some best practices around storing your key phrases and how to stay in control at all times of your assets. Um, it is also a great practice to write it down on a piece of paper. Really simple and easy to do. There's also options called crypto steals. That's steel as in the metal, where you can etch, put in the words, or anything like that, and it's fireproof, waterproof, so you don't lose it. This is a non-custodial wallet, meaning no one can help you recover your key phrase if you lose it. So it's very, very important to keep this safe and secure. If you're not familiar with custody, We've made a what is custody video, I'll uh, link it in the description below. I highly recommend checking that out if you haven't already, which goes over a few different custody solutions depending on the size of your asset holdings. So remember to store this key phrase in a secure location. Anyone with this key phrase can access your Avalanche wallet. There is no way to recover lost key phrases. So make sure you back it up. Once you did, click on the I wrote down my key phrase in a secure location. 
and let's access our wallet. Now here, it's going to ask us for the order. And our first one is going to be street. So we'll just go ahead and, and fill this out. All right, and then we can click access wallet after we have inputted the missing parts of our key phrase to double check that we've done it properly. And here's what our wallet looks like. And here are the different chains we were talking about, exchange chain, platform chain, and contract chain. And we'll notice contract is OX, P is P AVEX, and X is X AVEX. And all of them will always start with that beginning part. So you can easily tell the difference of which chain you're dealing with. We will go back now, we'll log out, because that was a demo wallet. And now we can come back here to my regular account and access our wallet, and here we are. The first step is going to be to get funds onto our AVEX wallet. It is important to note that you will be needing 25 AVEX tokens to stake, that is the minimum. So we can click over here at earn, and under delegate, this is the staking part we can see we must have 25 on the P chain to become a delegator. So if we go back to our portfolio, we can see that we have 1.35 AVEX. So I will be needing some more Avalanche in order to stake. So let's go over to where I have some Avalanche on an exchange. So this is Coinbase Pro, and here we can see I have 26. So that should be plenty enough to cover the transaction costs on Avalanche. So that should be plenty enough. I should still have 25 by the end of it all to stake. And this is really, really, really important step here. I almost did this completely wrong and would have ended up losing all 25 of my AVEX. So we want to start with doing it a little bit backwards. So we'll go to deposit and then we'll click on AVEX and then we will click on crypto address. This way we can see um, what chain our Avalanche is on the exchange. Here we can see only send C chain to Avalanche AVEX tokens to this address. C chain addresses start with a zero X, just like Ethereum, because this is the contract chain that is on the Ethereum virtual machine. So it has the same type of address as an Ethereum address. Sending Avalanche on P chain or X chain or any other asset to this address will result in permanent loss. So then you go, I understand. And if we go down here, we can see it's an OX address. Now we know this is C chain. So now we can go withdraw Avalanche to a crypto address. We can come back over to our Avalanche. Let's go to C chain because that's the address. Let's go ahead and copy it. Let's come back here, enter our address, use this address. Valid AVEX address, very handy. Go ahead and send over one just to make sure we did this right. And we can go withdraw, enter our two-step verification code, withdraw AVEX, and done. And there we are, it went through. Now we have 235. So let's go ahead and withdraw the rest. Now that we know we did it right, and we go max, all right, let's go ahead and withdraw that. Enter our two-step verification. Withdraw AVEX. And done. So if we come over here, we can see we have 27 now. And we will go down to cross-chain. So what we're going to do is we're going to go from C-chain to the X-chain. Because remember, we have to go to the P-chain in order to stake. So we'll do cross chain. We'll start with the C chain and it has to go to the X chain first. Can't go from the C chain to the P chain. And then we will go max amount. And there's our fee, not very much. Go ahead and confirm and transfer. All right, awesome, look at that. So now start again. And now we're gonna go from X chain to P chain send it on over and hit confirm and transfer. Awesome, transfer complete. Now we can go down to earn and add a delegator. So here we can see all of the validators that we can choose from, quite the list. 
and they don't have the names over here. Kind of wish they would have the names. That way, if you wanted to stake to a specific validator, you wouldn't have to input the node ID up here. But we can go over here to filter and filter down maximum fee, minimum uptime, and get a list of validators. Hit apply filter and it'll pop it up for you. For me, I prefer to stake with Figment. So I'm gonna put in Figment's node ID. I will link that node ID in the description at the very top if you would also like to delegate to Figment. And then we'll click select. Here is our delegate tab for the Figment node. We can see they charge 10%, which is very reasonable. And we can go to VS Scout or Avascan to get more information about the uptime. Over here, the staking duration is 21 days. So when you do a delegation, it lasts for 21 days. And this will show you your estimated rewards and estimated fees. You can come in here and go max. This will show me after 48 days the, the estimated reward that I should be receiving and then the fee. And then if you look down here, you can see your reward address. Where would you like to send the staking rewards? You can put in any address you like, or you can use the wallet you're staking from. If you would like to know a little bit more about staking, we have more information at docs.ovix.network slash learn slash platform dash overview slash staking. I will link this in the description below, so have no fear over trying to remember that. So let's go ahead and jump back over to our wallet and let's finish delegating. So I'm gonna choose the 48 days. Actually, let's just go to the end of October. Let's go to November 1st. At noon. Let's go noon. All right, so November 1st at noon, that's 23 days. I should be getting a 0.15 Avix on my 27.221. So let's go ahead and confirm. Yep, we'll have our rewards come back to this address and submit. Delegation transaction sent. If the transaction is accepted, your tokens will be locked for staking. You will receive your lock tokens plus the rewards once your staking period is over. And here's your transaction ID committed. Yay, back to earn. So let's go to our portfolio. And now we can see that we have 27.221 Avix staked. And we can go ahead and make a reminder for on November 1st to come back and either redelegate or to unlock our tokens. Congratulations, you've successfully staked Avix on the Avalanche Network. If you have any questions, be sure to join our staking hub, our one-stop shop for all things staking. A link to that can be found in the description below. In case you missed it, be sure to check out our other videos in the WhatDat series. These videos include a breakdown of Web3, staking, ETH2, and custody. You can find links to these videos and more in the description below. Make sure to subscribe and ring the bell to stay up to date on all things Figment. At Figment, we're on a journey to create a truly decentralized internet where users can freely interact, share, collaborate, and exchange goods and services in a trustless environment. To help deliver that vision, we offer staking, middleware, and application layer solutions for token holders and developers investing in and building on Web3 technologies. We are on a journey to build a better internet, keeping privacy, data ownership, transparency, and censorship resistance top of mind. At Figment, we offer a couple of different services to help users participate in staking. Hubble from Figment is a next generation Web3 explorer, allowing token holders the ability to stake tokens, manage governance proposals, monitor validator performance, and more. Hubble is a powerful tool in the Web3 world. Along with Hubble, we offer Figment Prime for our VC funds, exchanges, custodians, hedge funds, fiduciaries, and more. Figment Prime is a service to support large token holders and institutions. Prime offers a surplus of features, including a proprietary portfolio management dashboard, exportable tax compliant reporting files, industry leading SLAs, volume and time based fee rebates, advanced support, including private 24 7 Telegram and Slack channel support, monthly information calls with our analyst and team, access to our internal due diligence libraries, tools, and more. Our mission is to make it simpler for token holders 
developers, and other network participants to use, build, and govern blockchains. Our custodial partners will give you peace of mind by safely and seamlessly securing your tokens in a compliant way while still giving you the ability to generate staking returns and participate in network governance. Thank you for watching, and if you found this video valuable, make sure to share it with a friend. If you're interested in learning more about Figment or our services, you can find all the relevant links in the description below or at figment.io. As always, if you had any questions about staking or how Figment simplifies blockchain for you or your organization, you can join Staking Hub with the link in the description. I look forward to seeing you there, and until next time, happy staking.